Hi guys, welcome to my channel Tatum English with Tana. If you are struggling to find a language partner to practice your English or any other language, if you are willing to communicate with a native speaker but you don't have such an opportunity, or if you are looking for free speaking clubs, this video is for you. Today you are going to discover the best websites and apps where you can practice the language you are studying absolutely for free, even with natives. So let's get started. One of my favorites is Free for Talk. It's a great place where you join a community of people just like you who want to practice their speaking. They have a number of speaking clubs to practice different languages. Every time you enter, there are at least 80 chat rooms with people around the world for different levels. It takes a few minutes to create your account by using your Google account. Then you choose the language you are interested in. For example, English. So you can see there are 160 chat rooms that you can join. Consider your language level when choosing a room. Sometimes they mention the topics that are currently being discussed in the chat rooms that you might be really interested in. Then you click join and talk now. Or you create your own group for your own level. If you don't feel comfortable enough to start talking to new people, you can just listen to them for a while and get used to it. And then give it a try. So create your account, choose your level and start your journey. I'll leave the link in the video description. Another good website if you want to practice the language with a native speaker for free is Conversation Exchange. It's very easy to use and currently there are over 1 million users. Let's say you speak Spanish and you want to practice your English. You find a language partner who is an English speaker and interested in improving their Spanish. This is the win-win strategy when you can both take advantage of this Spanish-English conversation. You can talk about your job, news, culture and holidays, just anything you are passionate about. You learn genuine phrases used by native speakers and improve your listening skills. You can agree on the process that will be suitable for both of you. It's better to separate the languages, so it could be more effective. Today you are speaking English for half an hour and tomorrow Spanish. In this way you'll get completely immersed in the language you're learning. Don't use two languages at once, like you will say something in English and they will answer in Spanish. It will be totally ineffective and you'll just lose your precious time. So how does it work? First you create your account and choose your preferred way of communication. Face-to-face -face conversations, written correspondence or voice chat. Then you fill in the form with the information about your language partner. Country, age, gender and you are matched with native speakers. Then you choose a person and contact them. It's very fast and convenient. I'll leave the link in the video description. Let's move on to app number three that is called Hello Talk. This is the largest mobile exchange platform that provides you with an interface to call, text and speak with your language partners from your phone. So after creating your account, you enter the language you speak and the language you intend to practice. And you're shown a list of people who could be your potential language partners. What is more interesting, you can add your location and you will be matched with people who live near you. It is used by 20 million users, so there's a good chance to find somebody and practice the language in person. And it is worth mentioning about a great feature that allows you to post a moment. It can be a funny picture or a question about languages or travel that can connect you with even more learners. And you can also comment on others' posts and make friends. I'll leave the link in the video description. Let's move on to the next useful website that is called Interpulse that I personally benefited from. I believe this is the fastest place where you can find a language partner just in a second after registering. Immediately you receive 10, 15 messages, next day 50, 100. I was really surprised. People are eager to make friends there. You can speak here to foreigners as well as native speakers, unlike some other social networks where people mostly aim at finding a romantic partner. Here you mention a reason on your profile for registering. 
So you create your account and fill in your profile with your personal information, hobbies, interests, language exchange, and then you search for language partners by selecting the information about them, age, country, and the most important thing, what you expect from your partner. You can select language practice or friends or flirting and romance if someone is interested in. That's how my real journey of learning English started. An American girl, age 25, who wanted to practice her Russian, messaged me, and we started a long conversation. First there were messages and then Skype. And the bad thing about it is that you make a hundred mistakes and you still feel comfortable. If you are a perfectionist like me and you find it unbearable to be wrong, change your attitude towards it. We always make mistakes when we start. I'll leave the link of this website in the video description. Let's move on to the last app that is called Reddit. There are so many interesting daily discussions where you can participate. It contains thousands of groups called subreddits that are focused on different topics. You create your account and search for subreddits. You go to the search bar and type R and what you want to see in here. For example, technology. You choose the subreddit and join. You can see the information they share and you can also post your own comments to their discussions. It's a great way to improve your writing skills and become better at expressing yourself. I'll share with you some really interesting subreddits in the video description. Besides, you can create your own discussions. You click plus and add the title. For example, virtual reality and some text. How will our future look like? And post it. It's a great way to start a conversation. So find your favorite subreddit, share your opinions, read others and disagree with them no matter what. Just do anything to continue the conversation. I hope you found this lesson really useful and it will help you find your language partner even today. Don't be afraid to start talking to new people in the language you are studying. Remember that they are also learners like you. So give it a try.